It was all about choice, and Arizona led the way. Now, 15 years in, the first charter schools in the state are up for renewal. In tonight's 9 p.m. Extra, Jared Dillingham shows us how one of those schools has survived by helping its students thrive. All you have to do is take a look at the office walls to see where this school gets its name, the Mesa Arts Academy. It was one of the first charter schools in the state established in East Valley Boys and Girls Clubs. Mesa District had not yet opened their new school, Guerrero, and they were overcrowded. And we would help Mesa, and it would help us because it would have kids feeding into our after-school program. It and other charters were designed to give parents more options. There is no default school anymore. Parents have the option, and why would they not take advantage of that option? You know, they love their kids, find something that fits. But equally important, the charters were developed to improve student achievement, and 15 years in, the Mesa Arts Academy says that is just what they're doing with kids like these we caught taking part in the Boys and Girls Club summer programs. We're 85% about free lunch, you know, which is poverty, and about half of our, our little ones, you know, come in kindergarten, etc., speaking no English. That having been said, as I said, there have been years where our score in math has been the top in the entire state for every school. Like all public schools, charters must meet academic standards, but how they get there varies. Administrator Sue Douglas says for her students, the arts play a big part. Once they hear that applause with the arts, they want to hear it in everything. It makes them feel like they can do anything. They're getting their pieces back ribbons and they're just, they're so proud that they, I, I didn't think I could, I could do that. Well, yes, and guess what? You can do algebra, <laughs> you know? <laughs> also, like other public schools, this charter is facing tough budget choices. And I don't get any more money because we sing and dance. You saw the school office. It would be nice if it was twice the size and had double the furniture, but that's not where the money needs to go. We try to send a backpack with supplies home with every child so that the playing field is level at home too and they can do their homework because they have the things that they need. Because Mesa Arts Academy is its own school and district, it's sometimes easier because all choices about budget and curriculum are made here, working to make a school that succeeds. And we work towards excellence in every single thing we do. What, is, what does it look like when it's excellent? Jared Dillingham, 3TV. Now, Arizona started with 42 charter schools. At the end of last year, there were more than 500.